these decisions in the last days, politically, in terms of security, in terms of strategy, it was very difficult decisions. And we are we all divided in our opinions. But when it came to the moment that Ilhan Shalit came to Israel after five years, And that's why today we again and again get new meaning for the world that the one that if the one life is saved, it's all the world is saved. And I can say I remember how we group of Jews fighting in Moscow for our right to go to Israel and hoping and believing that all the Jewish world, the people of Israel, the state of Israel will do everything to help us. Here, Chief Rabbi of England, then, Lord Yakubovitz, came to us in Moscow, met with us, and gave us that about what? Judaism and medical ethics. What can be more far from us at that moment in this country? But he explained us, and we knew so little about Judaism. He explained to us the basic principle that how saving the life of every Jew. And that not only saving the whole life is like the same of the God. Even one minute of the life of every person has the same value as all the lives. You can know, never know which minute is more important than the other. And so saving even one minute of Jewish life is the task for every Jew. That because Nefesh, the Ker Shabbat, means not only saving the whole life, even if you can give another five minutes to the Metal. My dear friend, the head of the Jewish agency, Natan Shiansky, he was a hero in the history of his life in Russia. Really today was much more than his man Simchateiro. In the book of Nehemiah is written that in his time a group, group of prisoners came from abroad back to Israel and it was and it happened in Holomoid Sukkot exactly as it happened today with the Ashabit. And we are only one nation that we can behave such a behavior that we can pay such a high price and really a danger price for one soldier, the accident. I was asked today by an American uh, TV channel, how can you explain it that we didn't find any country in the world that they will pay such a high price and a, an enemy nation in the world that will be so united to save the life of one soldier. And the answer is, Kol HaMatzil Nefesh Achat Milisrael Kehilu Itzil Olam Malay If you save only one person, Jewish life, only one, you say the all world, and you have such a great right. And this is our believing, this is our tradition, and we believe about it. Therefore, we are only one in the whole world that we could be able to do it. I met Mrs. Shalit early on today. And she told me 
the chief rabbi I gave my son to the country five years ago. Then I knew exactly which son I gave to the country, to the army, but I don't know which kind of son I will get back. And we were very happy that he could be able to walk. But if some one of you saw how he drank his water, it was difficult to him even to drink. My son, my small son asked me why he bore so it was so difficult to him to drink a little bit of the water. And then I said, look who's different between the president that sat here in Israel, then Gilad Shalit. They came very healthy, we, uh, we were very proud, and he came very, very weak. And we had to pray that he will be healthy and he will come back to his position as he was five years ago. But we are speaking tonight about 1,700 volunteers that saved only in the last year almost 200,000 Jews in Israel. 200,000 Jews. If we have 365 days a year, you can do the bill exactly how many people are saved in every day in a year. Or everything comes, not only because they are volunteers and no one of them gets salary, they are really 100% angels. But you, in your supporting, you give more motorcycles and every motorcycle can arrive to the dangerous time, the first 10 minutes that the man is between life and death. If he will come with the ambulance, can he do come late? Because not only in New York there are traffic. Jerusalem and Tel Aviv we have also traffic. The motorcycle find the way to come as early as it can to find the person in the first 10 minutes to save his life. We came tonight to appreciate, to bless you, and to say that may God bless you well, and that you will not have a lot of work in this future year. But if you will have work, I wish you that it will be only the way to the birth of a new life of children. Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Israel. Thank you very much. We appreciate you came from very far today, especially with all the things going on with Eli Shalit. Thank you, Rabbi. Um, all these amazing people who continue supporting United Atzala year after year, sometimes month after month, and day after day, and join in the partnership with all these volunteers who are on the field saving lives every single minute in Israel. You are true partners, and I want to thank you for being here tonight. As we said, today is a very special day for Israel. It's controversial about how the, thing, how the deal was done. But no doubt, every single Jew in Israel is very, very happy for the return of Gilad Shalit back to his family. Out of the misery, out of the misery he was in for the last five years. And you can all see how much efforts the state of Israel, every Jew in Israel, every Jew in the world, all the prayers and all the money and all the efforts that were done to release Gilad. And he's only one Jew. Gilad is one Jew. And the great mitzvah we did, spending five years to fight to release him to save one Jew, you can imagine what every single day, 
1,700 Atsala volunteers in Israel. And all around the world, they have some Atsala volunteers from New York. Ellie Rowe is here from New York. And many other Atsala or great Atsala volunteers, paramedics from all around the world, were saving lives as volunteers uh, with no pay. And they, the greatest pay they get is, you know, the great uh, mix what they do is saving lives. So I just want to thank, first of all, I always leave her for the end, I want to thank my amazing wife, Yitti. Many of you, many of you spoke to her while you were arranging. She did all the seatings, and I'm sure everyone's happy. She tried making sure everyone's happy. So Yitti, thank you so much for everything you did all around the end, especially tonight. Thank you to my amazing kids, Abigail, Kanini, Libby, what was it, third, fourth, fourth, uh, Surly and uh, Adina, for giving up their father for United Atzala, for Yehud Atzala.